On January 11, 2017, U.S. District Judge Richard Gergel sentenced Dylan Roof to death for killing nine people at Emanuel AME Church. That sentence came after a recommendation from a federal jury. News 2's Lebba Holland spoke with that jury's foreman. She joins us now for a story you'll see only on two. During Dylan Roof's trial here at the federal courthouse in downtown Charleston, no cameras were allowed inside the courtroom. You may have relied on a reporter's account of what happened inside. But now, more than a year after the verdict, the jury's foreman is ready to share his story of how he came to the decision of the death penalty. Gerald Truesdale has spent much of his life in an airplane seat. Usually have about six to eight flights a week. He's a traveling businessman, but has always called Charleston home. And in December of 2016, his civic duty put him in the jury seat. I sat down exactly where you would think the foreman would be, front right. And as soon as I sat down, Judge Gurgel picked up the, the gavel and hit it and said, uh, we have a jury. Immediately, opening statements and witness testimony began. Felicia Sanders was the first to take the stand, speaking directly to defendant Dylan Roof. You know, when she said, you know, you have not exert the exact words, but it was to the point of, you deserve to be in the pit of hell. The only time he had a, any communication at all from an emotional standpoint, when she said the pit of hell, he went, Tch. that was it. But after the testimony finished, closing arguments delivered, deliberation began. The jury found Roof guilty on all 33 federal charges. Weeks later, the same jury returned to the courtroom, this time deciding on a sentence recommendation whether Dylan Roof should live or die for his crimes. Truesdale's personal decision went back to that morning when he read his daily devotional. Whoever sheds human blood by human shall their blood be shed. For in the image of God has God made mankind. It's a lot of it's a lot of verses in the Bible. What's the chances of that one on that day, at that time, that that pops up on my phone? The jury's recommendation sentenced Dylan Roof to death. You know, probably the one that turned it for me was, you know, Susie Jackson. She's 80 plus years old. I think he shot her six times at point blank range. Six times. She was 80 plus. Really? You're done. So now, more than a year after that trial, Truesdale says he can look back on that time knowing that justice was served. People don't necessarily need to make judgments on things that they're not involved in. You see something on TV and you go, yeah, they'll just kill that person. Till you're the person handing that document that is going to end that guy's life. You just don't even, you don't even have the justification to even make that comment. Dylan Roof is currently on death row in Indiana. June 17th will mark three years since the shooting. Libba Holland, Count on Two.